Hungarian folk tales. The Shepherd and the Snake. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a poor shepherd boy. The only thing the shepherd boy possessed was a little donkey, and he spent his days guarding the mayor's flock of sheep. He sat watching the flock one day and thinking how unfair it was that some people had money and were rich, while others had none and were poor. He sat thinking and thinking when he suddenly heard the sound of crying. Help me! Help me! The boy followed the sound of crying and walked to a hole in the ground where he came upon a yellow-bellied snake wriggling in a fire. Help me, shepherd boy, and I will soon repay the favour. So the boy held out his stick and the yellow-bellied snake slithered up it and out of the fiery flames. Then the snake said, follow me and you should know that my father is the king of all snakes. The yellow-bellied snake slithered along and the young shepherd walked quickly behind. He left his donkey to watch over the sheep. The boy followed the snake until they found themselves in a forest where the yellow-bellied snake suddenly slithered under a flat stone. The snake shouted back, push the stone away and follow me. The young shepherd did as the snake had said and revealed steps going down into the ground. And he walked down and down and down until he arrived in a beautiful diamond meadow. This is my father's palace. And the gate to the palace was guarded by two very large snakes. There the yellow-bellied snake slithered in and the young shepherd followed close behind. They passed through one room after the other until they arrived at the throne room that sparkled with silver and gems. The walls were studded with diamonds and everything was decorated in precious metal. The snake king was sitting proudly on an enormous throne and when he wanted to give his servants an order, he would simply flick his tail and bells would ring. Then the yellow-bellied snake hurried up to the king and embraced him. Father dear, don't harm this poor shepherd boy because he saved me from the fire. Now, young shepherd boy, you may choose from two things as your reward for saving my son. You can learn to speak to all the animals, or I can give you a bag of gold. The poor shepherd boy thought hard because he was sorely tempted by the promise of riches, but he would never ever have the chance to learn the language of the animals again. And so that is what he chose. Come here, my child, said the snake king. So the young shepherd boy approached the fearsome snake and the king hissed in his ear and he instantly understood what the king was saying to his snake's son. So then the poor shepherd boy bid farewell to the yellow-bellied snake and his father the king and started to walk back the way he had come. He walked on until he came to the beautiful meadow, climbed back up the underground steps and re-emerged into his own world once more. Then he herded his sheep up and sat down to reflect on all that had happened to him that day. And as he sat there, two tiny birds flew up and landed in the top of a tree where they sat talking to each other. Did you know, if that poor shepherd boy only knew what lies at the foot of this tree, he would not stay poor for one day more. But the young shepherd heard this and understood all they said. So he swiftly drove his sheep back to their owner, picked up his sharpest axe and walked back to the forest to the tree where he had sat.
and he dug and he dug until he discovered, to his great delight, a big pot of gold. As evening fell, he took the gold home and never had to watch the mayor's sheep again. Then he soon bought a beautiful house with plenty of land, married his bride, and they both lived happily ever after. <laughs>